What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com, and my arm swung up like that. Hey, they, they, they go together. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well out there. Let's see, what do I got? Oh, yeah, little blues double stops for you. <laughs> got a director here today trying to entertain him. Anyway, um, we got a little, uh, some little double stops, and it's really cool. With one shape, you can play through all three chords of the progression. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, and you'll really enjoy my website, GuitarGems.com. You can try it out for free for two weeks. A two-week free trial in that link down there in the info box here. I appreciate that support. Uh, but let's zoom in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to take the three, chord, the three chords of the blues, and we're in the key of A. So the first chord, but I'm going to show you specific voicings because these little double stops I'm going to show you come from these chords. So the first chord of an A blues is A7. But here's the one I'm going to show you. The root is on the D string of the seventh fret. So that's our A note. And I just bar it. But then my middle finger is going to be on the eighth fret of the B string. Ring finger is going to be on the ninth fret of the G, and pinky is going to be on the ninth fret of the high E. So really, it looks like a D7 chord, D7, E7, half step to F7, G7, up to A7. So there's the A7, and it's just D up the alphabet till I get to A. Okay, but I'm changing the voicing so I get another root in here. You don't have to, but just to show you the full chord voicing. So that's our first chord. Okay, now I'm going to show you the next chord, which is D7, but we're going to play this one. And what that is, is it's me playing a D bar chord. major bar chord, but then adding my pinky to what's called the, the dominant seven, the, the seven note, right there, which is the eighth fret of the high E with this. So that's our D7. And then the third chord of the blues is E7. I'm going to play this voicing up a whole step, so it's E7. I'll go through the blues with those voicings. about blues soloing for a second over an A blues. You, we have this really cool, you know, box right here between the 810 on the B and 810 on the high E, 9 on the G, okay, now if we stay in this little box, let's look though at those chords we were playing in, in uh, reference to this little blues box that we would use for soloing, that first chord. So now let's forget about that note and just look at those. Let's forget about the G and just look at these two. It's weird to finger it with that, so I'm going to change my fingering. I'm going to put uh, my middle finger on that ninth fret of the high E and my index on the eighth fret of the B and just those top two. That comes from that. Watch when I solo. Okay, and then the other classic thing is you can do it with either the full three note or just the two note. And for the one chord, the whole time it's A, you can do this and a half step down because that's the sound of it. Okay, 
can always do that. Or with the full one. Or... As well. Hendrix kind of thing, right? But then, just with the two fingers, you got that. Now watch this. If I play the four chord, the D7, let's just look at the high E and the B. It would be that. So if I change my fingering, look at that. It's just a half step lower than the A7. So we got that for A7. And then for, we just got that half step down. Another reason why that works with the, right? And then for the E7, we would have it a half step higher than the A. So it'd be 10th fret on the high E and 9th fret on the B for that third chord. So look, it's the same thing, three half steps apart. It's very interesting actually. So let, let's look at it again. We got A7, which you can just look at the middle finger and it would be that 9th fret. So A7. go to the four chord, back to the A7, E7 up a half step, D7 down a whole step, A7 back up to a half step, E7, Remember, you can click the link down there, try out the website for free for two weeks. A lot of lessons on there to go through. Um, also, hopefully we'll see you in another one of these videos real soon. See you later.